treasures piled high Diamond rings reflect the sparkle you bring to my eye Now I want to show you what you would do if you had several photos. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, turn on my four photos, and I'm going to start dragging in my pictures. So I'm going to pull this one in. And I'm not going to change them all to smart objects because I already showed you how to do that. So you can do that on your own now. And I'm just going to bring this one up to the top left box. And I'm going to shift and drag it out. Click enter. Right click this and arrow down to create clipping mask. And make sure my edges don't show. And here's my next photo. Bring it in. Right click, create clipping mask. Bring my next photo in. And I want that one. Let's do that one in the top right. Drag it out. Create clipping mask. And one more. Stretch it out. Up here. Create clipping mask. Get these out of the way. So now I have all four of my photos in place. And if you want to, you can size them so all their heads are about the same size. Sometimes that's kind of nice. And you can rotate them. I could rotate this one a little bit. And here I want to show you one more thing you can do with this. So let's say these are all your photos. You can take this and you can right click it and then you can select merge group. Then you can hit your this little icon right here and click on, you can't see this because it's off the screen, but you can click on gradient map and it changes it to black and white and then come back to layers right click your gradient map and click create clipping mask and then you've got a black and white photo so that's kind of fun to if you want it to be in black and white another thing you can do is you this layer behind is where you're getting your um, your stroke so you would want to use that layer and the rest of the layers but you can turn off some of these elements if you don't want to use them all so I'm going to turn off my vines and let's say I want my photo bigger. So I can just grab all this and I can just right click it, click enter, dragged it out. I'm just gonna arrow this back down. And so now my photo is bigger and my vines are gone. And I can make it as big as I want. I could make it like take up the whole area. If I wanted it to be really big, I could just I could just make it so that there's no no edge and then these guides is basically where you want and then you'd want to scoot these over but you want to not you want to make sure you don't get anything outside the guides these guides are here to let you know just for like maybe this area could possibly be cut off if you know somebody did a not a very good job cropping it <laughs> at the photo uh, lab so I just like to give a little bit of extra room in case you need that on all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a break here and in my next tutorial I'm going to show you how to create your own boxes and add photos if they're all different sizes and you can just do it that way. So I'll be right back.